of my life. I... <laughs> Do you suck at boating? Do you often find yourself running into trees, sticks, or even the boat ramp itself? Or are you just scared to go boating because you're worried you might mess up your boat? Or have you just been waiting for the right opportunity to perhaps win a boat? Is that great or what? Ooh, she floats. That's a good sign. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you found yourselves in the right place because today I'm here to tell you we're putting up the world's baddest jet boat for grabs in a giveaway. Guys, two of my favorite things in life, jet boats and Crown Vicks, you know the deal. So introducing probably the internet's best giveaway ever, a Crown Vic and probably the world's most badass jet stream jet boat. Check this thing out. Also wanna mention, that ain't no normal Crown Vic, that's a P71 2011. Last year they were made, sucker is mint. I cannot even begin to describe what level of a jet boat this jet boat brings. This is the bald eagle boat, boys. It's got a bald eagle on the front, and it's got a bald eagle on the back. American flag wrap, 300 horsepower, supercharged Rotax engine in the back. Same engine that's in my boat and Jack Stan's boat. And guys, this is the four seater model. So check out this interior. Four seats, four partying. And don't worry, if you suck at driving boats like a lot of people do, this is the boat for you. Basically indestructible. Don't hold me to that. This thing can jump logs, trees, slide across land. You can bump it into nearly anything. It is completely made out of aluminum, ready for battle. And you know, guys, we were talking about building a jet boat for the giveaway, but ours would leak and just not be right. This is built by Torchcraft Marine. The sucker is equipped with Garmin Electronics. The engine that's in it is nearly brand new. Everything works, bilge pump, lights, GPS systems, the whole nine. It's got the nicest interior I've ever seen in a boat period in my life. It's covered in American flags, bald eagles. It's got electric trim, you name it, this boat has it. Literally every single goodie you could possibly order on a jet boat, this boat has it. This boat costs $60,000. That's right, a 12 foot boat cost $60,000. And, and look guys, you get a $2,000 Crown Vic to go with it. I mean, could you imagine a better deal? And you can enter for a chance to win it today by visiting CletusMcFarland.com. Every $5 you spend for a t-shirt just like this or a sticker or a hat gets you an entry to win this entire package. If you win, you'll get a call. You'll end up right here at our shop, picking it up and driving it home to wherever you may be. We have a complete list of rules for the Bald Eagle Boat and Crown Vic giveaway listed at CletusMcFarland.com. Like all giveaways, there's no purchase necessary. You can see more information about that on our website where the rules are. The link's in the description. But the gist of it is, you spend $5, you get an entry. You buy a t-shirt for $25, you get five entries to win this package. And it goes up from there and it's all automatic and our prices haven't changed. These are the same prices we have whether we're doing a giveaway or not. So no additional work by you. If you buy a cool t-shirt, which there's tons of cool t-shirts, tons of cool hats, and tons of other products that are amazing, and every $5 increment gets you that entry to be entered for a chance to win this jet boat in Crown Vic. Enough about the giveaway, let's get to the video because we got a lot to show you about this jet boat. at the interior, Chris. Wow, dude. <laughs> Over the top. Yeah. How do you like getting those beauty right shots of this, dude? It looks like teak. Maiden voyage today. Dude, this thing's an absolute <laughs> unit. I know. I'm so jealous. 
That's how you know we're going boating today, boys. Look at, look at this. I know. See how many layers Tri -color. it is? Tri-color. It's four. Four layer, bald eagle, front end. You know what I'm curious to see, too, is how that Garmin works, because we've been lost numerous times. Dude. Now we'll have, uh, what's it called, breadcrumbs to yeah, see where we, we came it. from. We have it right there. I know. Four-seater. So maybe today we should try and ride it with four people today, too. Yeah. I mean, it's the baddest unit you can get. Dude. I mean... Diamond stitch, tri-color seats. I know, we went all out, dude. And then, you know what's nice is it's got freaking cup holders. Yeah, we don't have any cup that. holders. Zero. Look at that, dude. So sick. I love how they powder coated that. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice little touches. Supercharger's a little bit easier to access on this one. Yeah, you got a lot more room. You ain't got a, a lot more room. Do you see she's got coolant too? This is a fully closed loop cooling system. So if you're in salt water, nothing. Yeah, I mean, you can take this thing yeah, anywhere. No salt through the engine. No sand through the engine. It's freaking so nice. So clean. Torchcraft killed it. Got the big sand separator on there. Yeah. Everything they use, like all their fittings are all stainless. I and know. Like yeah. I put the plugs in it too, so it shouldn't sink. That's good. Should be good to go. To Bad to the bone of the billet fuel hunt, dude. Yeah, this Suckers is nice. clean. Even, even this, like these are stainless and they yeah. swivel, you know. Well, you know, this is like fully emissions compliant. This is a real yeah, register. Real this deal. is the real deal. It's the, yeah, it's got the, the actual Coast. sticker. It's the real deal. You get that sticker, you gotta go to the Coast Guard. All right. Say, hey, check my boat out. This thing has an auto build. You don't have to turn it on. It automatically turns on. All right, too fancy. Put the cover back on. <laughs> Boom. Stomp hey, grade. You know the deal. Shoot. Yeah, look at that. Look at that vent. Torquing. Gas cap. Vent it. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. this. Stuff is insane, man. This boat is like unreal. I remember how much of a project ours were. Imagine this one, what it took I mean, to build this. Even if you had a team of six guys building this, it'd still probably take you two months. At least, know? yeah. No, it took them longer than that. It is a nice machine. I love the walkthrough window, too. That is sick. Look at that combo, dude. <laughs> what a ridiculously awesome thing. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh. Wait, it's got engine information on it? Look at that. I didn't realize this had engine info on it too. Now that is freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at that, Sam. Let's see how she does here. Oh, brother. That's pretty perky. 30 mile per hour like it's nothing. Sam, how's your first jet boating experience hey, going? We hit that tree pretty this good. This is the ultimate jet boat experience. Thing. <laughs> it's delivered to you. Know? It's a giveaway. You this ever intentionally delivered. crashed a boat? Not yet. Not until today. So now, yeah, yeah, now, now we're no dialed. Saying that I haven't done it, so now I have done it. There you go. And it was great. Yeah. I hadn't done it before. We're good. How's your boat? Definitely carbon fuel. Is it just spraying out of that? Yeah, you can see like the splatter. And oh, then yeah. when I first put it in the water, I got pictures and you see it just like start to get wet around it. Let me get a video of it. All right, go ahead. Party's here. <laughs> Not a fan of this seat. 
Yeah. You're pretty up there, dude. I'm up there, dude. That's for me in this spot. This is for a that's for a short person. This is for someone who's willing to fly off because <laughs> Well you're up there. You're about a foot and a half, almost yeah, two feet taller than like the back of the bus seat, you know, where you hit a bump and it like <laughs> we spun out, dude, and like the centrifugal force, I was like, <laughs> Hey Sam, you're natural. I'll tell you what, I love it. Like we said, the odometer, it's not miles or hours, it's by trees. And there's only six trees on this boat. That's pretty good. Six trees and three circles. So you got plenty of circles left. Plenty of circles. It does do a great circle. So I, I think Come circles on. like three million donuts. You oh, for crying out, man. You got, look at the reserve you have on there. <laughs> I love all the handles. This is so smart. I'm gonna weld some handles in before our boats leave, I think. You have those handles for your windshield. I think they're just sitting in a pile. Them handles are nice. I know right where they're at. I need them. This I'm jealous of. That this is, is so a nice, nice. Like If you park on land like this, you just fail. You don't gotta get your feet wet. All right, so when you guys go to policemanfront.com, you're gonna find here some live action. We have Straw Hats back in stock finally, and they're new and updated with the new Cleater logo. They're looking good. Freedom Factory hat, same as always, but looking good. Sam, spray wax. Maddie t-shirts back in stock. Sport your car guy. It's 4th of July season. You need to find me on the water dry fit McFarland Marine. Brand new ripper right here, dude, with the giveaway boat. My boat runs on freedom. Ooh, clean, dude. Right. The new Cleater logo. Then we got the official 4th of July shirt. Do it for America. If you guys have been around for a while, we did a Do It For America shirt way back in the day. This is the update version. We got the Maddie tank top out here coming in new. When in doubt, throttle out new JH diesel t-shirt coming in clutch. Jackson, you gonna flip around? Fire in the pipes t-shirt. We have Dr. Tuna Mall's Doctor's Orders t-shirt. Two turbos, 25 pounds boost, methanol injection, 200 shot of nitrous, Dr. Tuna Mall. These rain jackets, so sick. I'm, I'm definitely repping this in Idaho because it's gonna get wet. And uh, these are real nice, high quality rain jackets. They're pretty pricey because just getting stock on them was insanely expensive, but check those out. We got the baby gear now, guys. This is courtesy of the females up there. They said it's finally time to make baby gear happen. We got the little Cletus baby hat, girl hat here. If you got a girl. And then we have the fresh unit onesie for the little fresh units out there. <laughs> I could probably fit in that one. <laughs> and the little Cletus one too. FF, Cletus 4th of July, Jack Stan, Jimmy Speed Demon Garage. Cletus, Cletus, Cletus leather patch hat, and then an embroidered blue Cletus hat. That's just some of what we got. Like I said, we got Jack Stan's shirt. We got Teeth and Turbo shirts. We got Dr. Tuna Mall shirts. We got Georgie shirts. There is just a bajillion items on CleusFreeFrog.com, and you guys should check it out after the video to get a shot at winning this jet boat in a mint Crown Victoria. Alright guys, got a little weekend wedge project going on while Zach and Sam are working on the Elko. I am going to be putting some C-channel on this wedge right here, see that? Right down the middle so that we can guide the jet boat trailers up this because we are about to send this puppy out to Idaho. So we got some work to do on that, got to run C-channel up the whole freaking thing and it'll make our lives way easier for loading and unloading the little trailers. Nice thing is this wedge is equipped with a winch so we should be able to just hook it up to the jet boat and pull the winch, pull the boat all the way up to the top.
got ourselves a piece of C-channel. I even measured so that it would be sort of straight. So you guys didn't give me too much crap. Eh, it's a little crooked <laughs> at the end. I'm not gonna worry about that. We're dialed in. So gonna take it outside and paint it with Mr. Sam. And then, whoop, try to go right up it. That was pretty easy. Sam's wrapping up the last spot. We got her on and painted. Oh, we missed a spot. Dang it. <laughs> it's one spot. I'm sure there's a few spots. Once it rains and some rust pops up, we'll see it right on the end. <laughs> but we're all done. And oh, actually, never mind. See another spot we missed. <laughs> so we're uh, we're almost there though. And then we go. Then we gotta try and put some jet boats on it. Good old latte lampoon here. Latte lampoon, yeah, something like that. Party about board. to do some jet boating. Party barge. Dang, look at the sparkle in that unit, dude. Yeah, what is this? The bass boat thing shining on yeah. brighter than the nightmare. Yeah, come on. That's where, <laughs> this is where you got the nightmare from. You got that. Yeah. Right are we ready for this, brother? Heather. Heather. I don't, I don't know that we are, but we're loading them up and sending them out. Yep. yep. We're on. Coming off is going to be sketch. I'm just going to say it now. We don't got to worry about that until we're up north. <laughs> We just gotta get them there first, dude. So, are we, so what is going on here? We're going to the the Idaho, the Idaho, and uh, we're taking all the boats with us, including the giveaway boat, because it wouldn't be right of us to not abuse Something the giveaway item, giveaway, yeah. you know. Then you guys saw the Marauder. We drag raced it 50 times before we gave it away because we had to test it. Same thing goes for the giveaway boat. We're gonna go hit some boulders with it. Make sure it's boulder proof. You know what I mean? And then we'll feel better about giving it out. Yes, know? for sure. You got to bowl it. Vic, it'll be fine. It doesn't get abused. It's going to stay here. Yeah. We all know Crown Vic can take the abuse. Plus, we like when people tell us how stupid we are. For I know. I definitely <laughs> love that. I got to say, this is working perfectly. Dude, that little middle beam there? I installed it myself. Did you? Nice. Look at that thing, dude. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gents, as you guys have seen... We are giving away probably the, the bass jet boat in the country right now. This giveaway goes till July 5th. So about three weeks, a little over three weeks. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the boat, the details are insane. And we're also gonna be abusing this boat. So don't enter if you think you're getting a dent free boat because we are actually gonna have this thing in Idaho in the next video you see. And it, it may come back with a dent or two. You gotta test, you gotta test them out. You can't just give somebody something untested, you know? Oof. How the hell is this trailer wider than the wedge, dude? Yeah, I mean, what, you got a pontoon trailer here, brother. How is that possible? This is a pontoon trailer. A pontoon <laughs> trailer is the narrowest tow trailer you can get. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> what is the trailer here for? Chris Craft. All right, guys, well, we clearly have a lot of work to do. We're going to try and get these boats mounted up and send them off to Idaho. Right. Check out all the rules for the jet boat giveaway on cleafandfrawn.com. We're really excited about this. Hope you guys are, too, and you're about to see some live-action jet boat content. I promise you that. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.